I hope you can hear me. I have my mask on, but I also have my AirPods on and I think they kind of help with the sound. I am at, um, I'm at Shopper's Fair right now. I have picked up some macaroni and cheese just for little snacks. And that was $164 and change. Um, I'm not really here for much, but I do want to tell you all the prices. Of things that I do pick up um, I have some other shopping videos grocery shopping videos too that you guys can check out if you just go to my channel and search grocery shopping in grocery shopping on my channel then you'll find it um, I think I want some chicken breast strips but because it's a good snack um, I do want some um, in this breast quarter i want the boneless ones i want to go make something to eat yeah. so i think i might get this one yeah this is yeah put this on one side so this is 712 dollars and nine cents I already have rice, I already have peas. Oh, vegetable. Then I'm gonna sell. Um, one bag of bag of juice, but <sighs> I digress. I do have some bagels. I have cream cheese at home. So I think I wanna get like mini bagels. This is wheat. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some bagels. Um, which is what I hate is that these, it's $559. What I hate is when they have so many different products and they put the prices like that. Cause then it's like, I don't know, make it more difficult. I do need bread. So I have to go back around. I've got butter, I've got egg. I've got all of this stuff already. I do want some cheese, so I'm gonna get the tasty cheese. So when I do buy patty, all I have to do, and the tasty cheese is, how much is it? The tasty cheese is $458 and change. When I buy the tasty cheese, I can go to Tasty's and buy beef and then put my own cheese in it. So. The lady I rude. Cause one time but I walk. Anyways, let me not. Let me not. Oh, I do need to get some beans. Baked beans. It's good that I'm here. I need to start organizing my life better. I used to have a list. Like when I first started doing this ground stuff. Um I'm gonna get the new pack ones because I got those. Where is it? I don't see new pack. Oh, over here. Um I like them. I got them before and I like them. Um, I think I'm gonna get like one. Guys, let me just pick these up. It's so hard holding on to all this stuff. But it's $131 and I'll be right back to tell you the, um, to, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a, a cool, um, intro. 
like I did for the dance hall video. So let me know. I'm gonna try to do more cool intros until I have enough time. Um, Cause you know, uploading, editing, and uploading a video every single day is gonna be really hard to make it like the best edit ever. But if I can make the intros really nice, then I think that would be really cool. Just a quick standing though. This is ridiculous to me. Who would do this? First of all, why do you, why are you importing? Why are you importing tomatoes? From America. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Um, Bunny. Anybody likes Bami? Fried fish and Bami. Excavish fish and Bami. I think I need to buy one of these. Oh my god, how much is this? This is $168. Sweet, and her cards is literally all in the way. I do need some peppers. I don't really even cook with pepper. I don't cook with. I know it's weird. But I don't really, I don't cook with that pepper. Oh, no. Anyways, I need some time. Um, I'll get this seventy-four. Uh-uh, I'm gonna get this. No, it's all, it can't go on. It can't go on. Seventy-four dollars. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else do I need? I have tomato even though they look scrawny. I just need to give mommy gave me a idea, Glenn. Like a family friend, like more like an uncle to me these past couple of years. Um he goes to market for the store for his shop and look for all this apple. But this no this is crazy to me. $193. I mean it's not bad for two, like but $412, 402 dollars This is mad. But it's imported, but it's still crazy. Um I'm gonna make my potato today. I have juice. I don't see something that I came for. Green pepper. I'm not paying that price for the green pepper. I'm not doing it. Pumpkin look nice in. I think Saturday I'm gonna make some pumpkin soup. Chocho look nice. The chocho is $64, the pumpkin, depending on which one, obviously, they're varying prices. So pause the screen, they're varying prices. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what, I'm not gonna buy yeah. no sweet pepper for $272. $200. $27. I'm not doing that. Super so pumpkin warm. I'm not buying it. Can't wait. Um, I don't know whose card this is. I already have a bunch of onion and a bunch of garlic. I have some on orange in my fridge that I need to um per dozen. It's four hundred and forty nine dollars. I already have some orange in my fridge. I'm gonna go back and get the bread. Um, la, this this is getting very heavy. This is what I have so far. Um, yeah. Hopefully, there's nothing I need when I reach back home. I brought back, guys. I'll show you that there's a good amount of wine selection. Ooh, Pinot Grigio. That's my style. Um. There's a good amount of wine selection in these supermarkets now, so, and liquor selection in general. Um, I want to take a content picture. I want to take a content picture, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to think that through. The best advice I can give for you guys, if you do grocery shopping in Jamaica or even in um, America is to buy in bulk. These are just the small items that I use every day that um, I have to come back and buy now, but I bought my oil in bulk. 
my rice in bulk, my flour in bulk. I bought um, vinegar in bulk. Even the onion and garlic and them something there, I bought in bulk. Because onion and garlic kind of take a longer time to spoil than tomato and peppers and thyme and scallion. Um, it kind of have a longer shelf life, I guess. It's also good to buy canned goods. Um, and it's also good to buy... What else is it good to buy? I don't know. It's good to buy canned goods. Because those really have a very long shelf life, especially when you have like natural disasters and things of the sort. This is the bread I always get. I don't even see a price. This is what I'm telling you about like. Oh, I lied. I lied. I take it back. $322. I keep my bread in the fridge. Let me check the expiration date. That's another thing that you should make a habit of, which I'm trying to practice more often. Um, I'm going to have to pause the video so I can put down this cart and check the expiration date. Because I don't want to buy it and then hear that it expires next week. Because I know I'm not going to finish my bread by next week. If you get what I'm saying. Alright guys. Um, yeah. So this aisle is just, you know, basically home goods, miscellaneous. Oh, yes. I've needed um, a wooden utensil. So guys, I had a little business call. But this is 200 and... This is 359 but the one we just pick up is 200 so hold on. Because this is 404 Oh my god, it is 359 I guess. I do need it anyways. I need one for my... One for, um... For chicken and one for rice. I guess. Um, yeah, so... I think that's it. I'm done. Hopefully we didn't do too much damage. Um, oh my god, look at these little cute ones. But those are very tiny. I don't... Yeah, those are very tiny. Um, just seeing if I need anything else, which I don't. Plus, I'm trying to be as smart with my shopping as possible. Everything else I already have. So I'm just going to go join the line now. And I'll let y'all know how much it comes to when... We're done cashing out. show you exactly what the bill came up to so right here it came up to five thousand four hundred and forty nine dollars and fifty nine cents there was um the item subtotal was four thousand nine hundred and seventy one dollars and package price discount total is sixty two cents i don't know what that means so the subtotal was $4,909.04 and the GCT, which is the, the taxes, is $540.55 worth of tax. So yeah, this is basically everything, the whole list. Um, I might pop up the US equivalent for the grand total um but it would be very specific to today's date or yeah today's date so keep that in mind um because i don't know if you watch this five years down the line <laughs> if you get what i'm saying um but this is all i got so i think we got some i think we got a good amount of stuff for what we paid i think and mind you like i said the great tip of life is to buy things in bulk um i asked mommy if she can buy me some macaroni and cheese in america because it's much cheaper 
um especially when you buy it in bulk like you can buy a pack of like 50 or 40 um and that will last a good while it's just a great snack when you're not really ready like or feel to cook a whole meal um and then also remember to buy canned goods because it lasts you so long let's find the expiration date 2022 um i'm not sure how healthy that really is because of all the preservatives but when you're in times of need um when there's a hurricane and the shelf them lock off not lock off but the stores them close and everything it's yeah you, you have to do with what you have so these are great things and then wooden spoons for my pots with um you know the pots guys i should not be using metal in my pots and i realize the bottom of my pots some of them are scratched up and i just it makes me sad so i finally got the wooden spoons i couldn't find them anywhere else but i wasn't really looking in shoppers fair i looked everywhere else and nobody really had it um and then bagel because i have some cream cheese and i don't want it to go to waste and i want to bring back my tim hortons memories um tim hortons by far has the best bagel and cream cheese oh my god like their everything bagel was amazing and their four cheese bagel delicious so i'm going to toast my bagels on the stove in my i have a mini frying pan put some butter down toast it and then put my cream cheese on it and voila tim hortons in jamaica <laughs> and then yeah i have some meat and scallion and thyme my bread and i got bug spray um yeah mosquito there's so much mosquitoes in the house and everything and it kills me um whenever i leave the windows open for a, like a long time so i always try to lock my windows at like 5 p.m around there but i don't leave my windows open ever <laughs> ever really but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry about the rambling at the end this is a very very quick video for tomorrow now, vlogmas is really taking a toll on a lot of us content creators it really is very draining so please support um your favorite vlogmas people your favorite content creators by watching the ads leaving a comment liking not even just me but like with everyone it, it really takes a lot out of us to record our lives every day or record a video for you guys and edit it and upload it whether it's the same day or the next day so if you can support us in that very simple act uh that would be truly extremely grateful um yeah and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog